What I want to say to actors is that you cannot afford to be naive about this. You gotta know the difference between when it's good for you to take casting director workshops and when it's a terrible idea for you to do that. Stay tuned because I'm about to go into this topic a little bit further for you and hopefully give you insight as to why that might be the case to help you understand which one am I at at the moment? Which moment am I in? Should I be doing that next casting director workshop or should I wait? Okay, so this topic is about why you should or shouldn't go and take casting director workshops. This might be another controversial topic, okay? So coming out with that and, and already, you know, prepping you <laughs> for, for what you're about to hear. I'm going to start with a little story. And I'm hoping that from this story, you might understand where I'm coming from. During the pandemic, I sat through a online talk with a very, very big casting director here, here in the UK. The talk was actually for, you know, aimed towards filmmakers, writers, directors, uh, producers, directors, producers primarily. But of course, you know, actors are always wanting to do their best to, to put themselves in front of casting directors uh, because they are the gatekeepers, the key holders. And, uh, and so there were, you know, there were some actors in, in, uh, in the room. There came the part of the, of the talk where it was a and a and, you know, people could type in their questions and so forth and so forth. So the, predominantly they were from producers asking about the casting process and, you know, finance and things like that. But then you have you had this actor, uh, and there were you know a few actors, as I said, in the room. And the actor was, uh, I think, also coming from the perspective of wanting to do her own work. Uh, and so she asked the question, "How do you know when somebody is um, you know is right for the part?" And then what happened was that this very very big and influential casting director kind of looked to the side, you know, <laughs> whimsically and said something along the lines of, oh, you just, it's just magic, isn't it? You just know. A lot of the people in the room obviously took this, a lot of the actors took this, and it's the kind of thing that you hear often. I'm not going to say always. There are, there are, you know, very insightful casting directors who understand the, um, the realm and boundaries of their jobs well, um, but I think that there has been a proliferation uh, of casting directors and the type of professional that I think are leading people astray. This person isn't, right? We said this is a massive uh, casting director. But I thought, okay, as a coach, as an acting coach, I thought, now what does this do for this actress? What does this piece of information do? And for all the actors who are in the room. This actress walks away with the impression, the idea that somehow she needed to be magical. Now, I'd, I'd like you to consider what that means. Imagine you came to me as a, as a student uh, and, and I was coaching you and you said, well, you know, what are they looking for? And I said to you, as your coach, they're looking for magic. What would you do with that piece of information? How could that possibly be helpful to you? So I'd, I'd like to kind of unpack something and, and, I'd, and I'd like to, you know, perhaps provide a little bit of clarity behind this often cited idea uh, that you get from, from people who are on the other side of the camera, who don't really understand coaching, who don't understand what, what it means to work with an actor's instrument, who don't understand what it means to actually coach an actor. Now you can probably see where I might be going with the, with the topic here. Magic is what happens, how we might describe the feeling that we experience when we see an incredible piece of acting. You know, somebody really owning a part, somebody really owning a character. We take away that feeling of, oh God, 
that was just magic. That's the impression that your acting gives the audience. However, that is not what you're doing. You're not being magical, okay? You are doing something very, very specific, which I have suggested up until this moment, and I will continuously suggest, takes training, effort, love, dedication, everything that comes along with our amazing craft. But it certainly isn't magic. You're never doing magic. You are doing something very, very specific. Magic is how you hope others might perceive your performance uh, when you get all those parts working perfectly and in alignment. I like to, I like to refer to athletes, so Simone Biles is going to come up. <laughs> those performances were, were magical, but she certainly wasn't doing magic. And in any other, you know, any of your favorite uh, athletes or sports people, it's a, it's, an, it's a very apt analogy. And in the next topic, when we really look at what acting means and what, what the actor as an, as an artist means, um, you'll see why the focus uh, on um, sports, athletics, movement uh, is so apt uh, for, our, um, for our craft. So here's the thing then. Casting directors are focused on your performance. They, I, I, I will not profess to know what it is that they really are looking for. Um, you know, obviously there are many talks with many of them, especially today, and they're all looking for slightly different things. In my own overview, because I like to be as informed as I possibly can for my students, you know, they kind of are saying something along these lines of, you know, magic, ownership, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying blah, blah, blah in a disparaging, disparaging way. I'm just saying, how helpful is this for you, this piece of information that, you, you know, you have to be, you have you know, ownership, whatever. So the casting director is coming from that perspective. They're, they're, I'm going to use the word judge, but I don't mean it, of course, you know, judging you from, from the perspective of, of, you know, horribly critiquing you. I, I mean it in, in the sense of just, you know, the, the kind of ordinary, the, the kind of uh, making an assessment, you know, a qualitative um, assessment of, is, is this person, you know, selling me the role? Is this person, you know, kind of taking this performance somewhere else, okay? Uh, so they, they're coming at it from that perspective. And good, that's, that's their job. That is the art, you know, there is an art aspect to what they do too. They kind of, they're kind of looking at, at, the, at the overall package and, and seeing how all of these components are going to jump off uh, the screen and work together to create magic for the audience. When you now get into a class though with a casting director, when you go into a workshop with a casting director, they're not going to tell you that you're magical or not, you know, because this is outside the realm of the classroom. From my experience of students taking these and from videos and, and things that I've seen, it t the, the advice tends to be along the lines or the, uh, the feedback to the actor tends to be along the lines of, good. Okay, I, I'm just gonna park that there for a second and go back to, to the beginning of this topic and, and why, uh, but I think you can probably draw the conclusions from there. Why it might be good for you to take casting director workshops and why it might be a terrible idea for you to take casting director workshops. If you're going to, if you're attending casting director workshops uh, so that you can get instruction and feedback on training and your instrument, then you know doing doing these uh, casting director workshops is terrible because there will be this assessment which is there to encourage you to say to you you know this is this nice good okay because they want to make you feel good yeah and why not why should they make you feel bad they're good professional people but what does that do for you? What do you take away from that exactly? What have you learned? And if you haven't been smashing, if you haven't created magic, what, what do you take away from this? That they've seen you? Which, you know, then we're going to go as to go to the topic of why they might, uh, why you might want to take these. But if you, again, if you're taking them in order to get feedback, if, you, if you're taking them for this reason, it's a terrible idea just because they're not there to do that. Now, Let's go with why you, uh, and, and as an aside to this, 
I know of many actors because they would have done my workshops. I run workshops too, I run short courses. We run drop-in classes. And uh, as we begin each class, I might go around the room and ask, you know, how much training have you done and all this kind of stuff. Um, and a lot of people in the room might say, I've done a few workshops, I've done a few courses. And, and then they might say, and I've done some casting director workshops. And I'm thinking, that's a terrible idea. They've now seen you, you haven't impressed them because unless you're a natural, you're not going to impress them because we haven't done the training we said. So therefore, either you're a natural or you've done the training. And if you haven't, you know, if you're neither, neither a natural and, or, or have not done the training, chances are you're not going to impress them. Chances are that you may take 50 of these casting director workshops and you'll get no, uh, you know, no follow on from that, from, from that. You know, you're not going to be cast in something. That's most people's experience. So now they've seen you, you haven't been ready, you weren't ready. Now they've seen you and, and they're going to have a, a, a file of facts of you. They're going to have a, a working memory uh, or they're going to have a memory of your face because th that's the job of being on this side of the camera. I do too. So um, <clears throat> don't do them unless you're ready, which is now going to the side of when should you do them, why you might want to do them. Well, after you've done enough training <laughs> and are really, really confident, and I mean really confident, and I mean really, really confident, then I think it is a very good idea that you might want to present yourself to, to, to be seen by these casting directors. Absolutely. That's when you should be doing them. And then when, therefore, when you go into the room and, and there is no feedback because this isn't a classroom, because this person, most of the time, unless they are a coach, and there are many casting directors who are, but unless they are a coach, which most of the time they're not, they're too busy being casting directors, okay? Their job is not to coach you. Their job is not to tell you what to do. So therefore, the people who have, you know, who are ready, who have done the training and, and they're going in with this opportunity uh, now to meet a casting director and to put their best work forward. Obviously, the feedback of, you know, really nice uh, is great, you know, because why should somebody make you, you know, critique that performance in that instance? It's, it's, not, it's not the realm uh, of, that, of that interaction. So that's when I think you should do them and do as many of them as you possibly can. And, and you know, depending on, you know, which casting directors you feel you would resonate with, with in, in terms of the kinds of projects that they're casting for. You know, perhaps they are casting for period projects and, and you know, you, you really, really have uh, something to offer in that domain. And therefore you might single out a particular casting workshop uh, or particular casting director and attend their workshop, absolutely. Um, but, you know, just to briefly go back, just to pack this up, if you're doing it with not the confidence uh, over your instrument, the confidence and ownership that comes from years of training and application and somebody who is actually an actor, uh, as opposed to hoping and aspiring to be one, don't do them. They're bad for you. You've just also perhaps might have missed the opportunity to really present your best work. If you wait another year, perhaps, if you take a, the time out to, to fix certain things in your craft, then by all means go, you know, go and take those some time from now.